Hi everyone, it's Neep here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing another day for the 100 day project um, and using some scrap FX products. So I'm starting off with this new rice paper from scrap FX which I'm a little bit proud about because it's actually one that was designed by me. And it's um, some of my backgrounds that I've been making over the last few years, weeks, months, um, which have been printed onto some rice paper. And they're lots of fun to use. They're really brightly coloured, so they're very saturated with colour, which might be a little bit intimidating, but they're great ways of doing really quick backgrounds without having to do very much at all. So the piece that I've got here is one that I've chopped up for another project, and I decided I just want to use up all the bits and pieces in the background. So I'm gluing them down on into my use it up journal just in sort of random pattern. So I'm um, trying to get different bits of colors together. I'm using gel medium below and above just to sort of seal everything together. And it goes down really, really quickly. Now the great thing about this rice paper is um, it doesn't bleed. So it, even though it's really highly saturated with color, um, none of that color is coming off, which is fantastic. To fill in the gaps and sort of blend everything together, I'm just going in with some watercolours. Um, this is a Jane Davenport set, but any set that I've had do the same thing, which seems a little bit odd because you're um, painting onto stuff that's got gel medium over it, but it sort of picks up the colours really well and just gives you that nice little translucent glaze of colour over the top of what you're working on. So around the edges where I had those white bits, I can fill them in. Any torn edges um, will be coloured now instead of having the white on it. So it just blends everything together. In the background, I'm using some Tracy Scott stamps. These are some stamps from Paper Artsy. You can see I was trying to be really clever and use a block. And um, for those people who follow my channel a lot will know I never use a block. So <laughs> I gave up and just started stamping straight onto it. And um, the reason this works more successfully is one, I'm more used to it, but also this um, little journal is very, very chunky. So by having the ability to actually bend the stamp where I want it to go just makes it a lot easier. Now the reason I'm stamping over the background, even though this is quite busy with all the colours in the background, by having the black stamping over the background, it just helps unify everything together. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see um, at the moment, but once I start to do some close-ups and do some pen work over the top, you can sort of see how it helps blend everything together. So to begin with, I'm going in with um, a white pen and just scribbling loosely over the top of the shapes. Now, um, these scribble flowers from Tracy Scott are wonderful anyway. They've got these beautiful scribbly lines. And by scribbling over the top of them with a contrasting color, it just really finishes them off. So you do not have to follow the lines. In fact, it looks better if you don't. You've got the two, the double line of the black and the white. Um, but by putting the white and the black on the page, you can sort of see it all starting to tie together. And it gives you each of those flowers a really unique coloring. So while they've sort of all got the same colors going on, each part looks slightly different. So again, in the close-ups at the end, you'll be able to see that a little bit more effectively. While I was doing this, I decided that I wanted to put some of these figures on. These are another product from Scrap FX. So you'll find all the links to those products in the description box below. So please check that out. These are called Graffiti People by um, the very talented Michelle Logan. And they again are printed on... Uh, rice paper so they go translucent you can see underneath um, what's going on the other image that you saw me I had cut out there is again by Michelle Logan but it's actually printed onto cardboard um, and colored but the color was there was too much color going on so by able to have the, the figure in black and white um, sort of helped again pull a focal image on that page one of the things I do love to do with any figures that I've got is to do some extra line work and draw over the top again. And that helps me be part of the image as well. Even though the very talented Michelle has done an amazing job with those images, by just adding a little bit of me into it um, helps it 
helps me feel like it belongs on my page. So I've just done some extra white lines with the really fine white Posca paint pen. And I've also used a red Stabilo pencil to um, draw in the little heart in the eye and put some red lips on. So the little pause there was me trying to find a quote to write on this page and I fell in love with this one. Um, let art help you through the dark. And with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, um, we've sort of got locked down here and it's all fun and games. It's um, by doing my art journal every day, it's been a huge part of me relaxing and having an escape to go into whether I choose to focus on it if I've had a really rough day or if it's just you know escape into the bright colors and do something completely crazy um, so it's why I art journal it's it's for me it's for my mental health so having a quote like this um, with that beautiful black bright background um, helps me think about you know all the great things in life and all the things to be really thankful for so I've just gone in with a black paint pen and I write um, just simply the first time and then I go in with the paint pen again and just widen some of the lines. And I find that's the easiest way to get the spacing right on your letters because you can then sort of extend up strokes and down strokes and make them a little bit wider and sort of flare them at the ends. But because it's all written out and you've got space for it, you can work around any spacing issues you have. I'm also going in with a white pen at the end just to add um, a highlight onto each of the letters to help pop it out from the background. And that's my page finished. Oh, apart from putting a heart on my figure because I do love to put hearts on my figure. So you can see um, through this how that stamping and doing the white doodling over the background just really helps to um, add to the overall effect and tie the whole piece together, make it look unified. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video. It was really quick to put together, particularly because you had those pre-printed backgrounds. Um, remember all the links to the products below, um, or to the blog, um, Scrap FX blog will be in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.